Hi, Mina. Hi, how are you? Good. It's a special guest for me because it's one of Teach Me Code instructors. Thank you so much. Thank you for having so, me. Mina, I want you to introduce yourself to everyone who still doesn't know who you are. Okay, my main my name is uh, Mina Skanda. It's yeah, it's main because I was just working on something about main functions. So yeah, um, my name is Mina Skanda. I'm from Sudan. Uh, you know, I did aeronautical engineering. What did you do? Aeronautical engineering, okay. aeronautical mechanical engineering. Yes. All right. Um, you know, um, I wanted to do my master's degree. I got two times. You know, accepted in Cranfield University in London to do the master's degree, but I didn't. I couldn't afford it. Okay. So uh, yeah, then um, you know, uh, I had to work to support my family. So I worked as school teaching. You know, for a couple of years as maths and physics teacher. For, All right. Back in Sudan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For IGCSE and A level. Okay. Then after that, um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't that much satisfied, you know, because I loved puzzles, you know, I loved I loved to be more involved with, you know, computer and and stuff like that, you know. So okay. And yeah, I love I love I love computer, you know, since I was like like, you know, uh, at high school. You know, at that at that time, computer was just like because you know I consider myself like a bit older generation than this, you know. So um, yeah, I loved computers. I love to spend more time with computer. So uh, I was just looking for a way. So uh, I've been introduced to data analytics course, you know, uh, when I was... When was it? How many years ago? Um, four years ago. All right. Okay. Yeah. Then when I was dealing with the SQL and, and Excel and this stuff, uh, I just found myself... And then I was introduced to our language, programming language. Then I used to spend like hours and hours and without, without, without feeling even the time, you know, like, like I used to spend... That's how passionate you Yeah, exactly. I just it? found out that, you know, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I, I really love that. Then, um, yeah, then just by accident, one day, you know, uh, a friend showed me like, um, you know, um, you know, Harvard University courses on programming, computer okay. science and programming. And I was just like, OK, that's it. You, know? you did it online. Yeah, I did it online. Exactly. I did it online. But, you know, I did the, all the courses of Harvard University. You know, I spent hours and hours, you know, after I, like I started from like from 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 zero, you know, computer science stuff. Uh, yeah, to be honest. I sometimes I used to spend like around 10 hours coding. Like I wake wow. up, my computer is just next to me, my laptop, you know, you I just, just wake up, I just, without doing anything, you know, I just turn it on, I code until, you know, it becomes dark. My mom just comes like, turn on the light. Mina, come on, let's just eat something. Wow, wow. Like that's how you started basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then I was just what like- What was the courses about? Like what, what was the final result? What language did you like? Uh, okay, I learned I learned C, C++, but I mastered Python. Okay. Okay, the framework Django. Yeah. And also being introduced to JavaScript. Okay. Well, what's your favorite? Uh, I love Python and JavaScript, actually. You yeah, love yeah, Python yeah. and yeah, yeah. JavaScript. Very nice. But like, luckily for you, Python is on a very high demand right now. Yeah, yeah, right? actually, yes, yes. Well, it I, wasn't I the same case four years ago when you were starting it. Yeah, yeah. It was just like people were just heard of Python, Python. But no, 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 no. No, it's like yeah. it got reborn all over yes, again. Yes, yes. What do you think, what could be the, for example, the push for that, for the Python to become so demanding nowadays? Okay, first, Python, it's, it's very easy. Okay. It's very easy compared to other programming yeah. languages, you know, and it's very close to, you know, English language. Yes. All right. Okay. And it's less symbolic than, you know, like, like C, C++ or like, you So don't. it's easier it's for very anyone easy. who doesn't have a background. Exactly. To exactly. Python. Like, like you, you, I can just bring, you know, a, like a boy from, you know, grade seven, grade yes. five. Okay. And, you know, he can like directly just write a code. From the day one. From day one. Without having anything. From the first hour from the first 30 minutes wow. without without the without like any background or any prerequisites or anything where exactly you can use python python can be used in like okay in web development okay in data analytics uh, in machine learning and in, uh, artificial intelligence like many many chat gpts are written by by python Ah, the, I guess that explains a lot why Python became so popular. Yeah, exactly. Recently, with you know, all this AI evolving. Exactly. Around. You know why? Because it's very, very close to human language. It's very close to human language. That's why it's, it's used in, in AI. Very interesting. Tell me, wh what are you doing now? As if I don't know. <laughs> what are you working now? What's your new career 
step that you took recently in? Well, you know, I, I, I love to be, you know, a back-end developer by Django and JavaScript. I want to expand more my knowledge, you know, and I've been working on many projects, yeah. okay? Like, like every time I just go through the internet or some, you know, or LinkedIn, you know, uh, yeah. websites, yeah. I just hear someone is talking about, okay, like, like the other person is talking, I want to build this project. I don't think about it. I just go directly, just VS Code, which yeah. is the environment yeah. I use, Visual yeah. Studio Code. Yeah. And I started doing this project, okay, uh, from scratch by myself. I can spend 10 hours, 15 hours. Just Doesn't trying matter. to see if you will get it. There yeah, exactly. Not. And then I just, you know, because um, I don't have someone to get back to. Correct. So I just, just use ChatGPT. To, okay. to proofread and to exactly. check your own to work. To check my work, to, to see if, you know, if there is any improvements, any new stuff. I don't know. I can learn it. Okay. So basically, you're using ChatGPT in the right way. You write your own code. Exactly. And I then don't you get it exactly, that. exactly. Okay. Because most of the people now they just go to they think that ChatGPT is going to replace developers. You know, no, no, the code is no. Oh, because I really want to touch that topic because I've been seeing a lot of interviews. I watched a lot of documentaries, listened to many podcasts where people are saying that very soon developers won't be in demand because with the new ChatGPT coming out you basically don't really need anyone to write codes anymore because you can get the whole thing and then you just need someone who will check it for you do you agree with no that? i don't agree with that i don't agree with that even even like uh -huh. you know david dr david mellon you know he's he's my he's my like example it's your because, role model yeah he is he is he's the best he's the best actually you know i like the way he explains stuff you know he's the best he's like he's at harvard university yeah like i love this man and everyone, everyone's been told by this man, loves programming. Because he knows how to deal with that, you know. He knows how to... He knows how to pass exactly, the message, right? Exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. He's, he's amazing. That's so important. Yeah, and he's been asked before, like, like if that's going to happen, like AI replaces developers. He said, no, it's not going to happen. It's very easy. Why? Because, uh, you know, because we write the code. Uh -huh. We made the AI. Developers, exactly, how exactly, can, how can exactly. created by a human can over basically or replace the human at yeah. the Yeah, right? and sometimes, by the way, uh -huh. sometimes even even like, um, you know, the AI, like, you can't just go to the chat, chat GPT and ask him like, okay, just do me this, okay, yeah. But, you know, he can, like, like the, the computer can just give you like commands mm -hmm. or, or stuff mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. but not everything. No. Not everything. Especially, I believe, if you don't have a coding background, even if exactly. you take a ready code from ChatGPT, what you do with it later, like you, 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 you can actually yeah. like create a messed up situation yes, exactly. based on that, right? Exactly. Exactly. But tell me, have you ever like still used the ready code? Like, did, did you ever like use ChatGPT to get like some shortcuts to get things done and like you no. know? No. 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 You're like very like how can I tell you determined and committed yeah, to doing exactly, it on exactly. your own way and developing your exactly because even even when I when I when I used to do mathematics you know because I, I I was like you may call me a nerd you may call me a geek call me crazy yeah but I remember I had a calculus book okay I stole it from the internet because calculus I, book oh my god yeah I hate three thousand pages Oof. I read it three times three times yes. How? What is there to read? I spent after after college. I spent five years <laughs> just doing mathematics and and fluid like mechanics. Like you were so in love with it. Yes, yes. I I remember. I, I used to tell this to my, my students to to encourage them. There is a problem in um, 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 vector analysis. Vector okay. analysis is the third course of of the, um, you know calculus. Yes, yes. That problem took me two years to solve, but I solved it. Do you post the results of your work anywhere no. and stuff? No. Oh, but how come? I, I, I feel like, you know, everyone needs to know. If it took you two years to solve it, don't you think that, you know, it's some sort of an accomplishment? Don't you want to brag about it? Uh, I, I do, but, you know, I don't no, know. I really maybe. think you should. You, I really think you should. Maybe it will motivate. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of enthusiasts like you, you know? And I'm just like, I'm just determined, you know, I don't I don't give up. I'm very obstinate. You're very like yeah. stop and when I say two years, yeah. that doesn't mean like uh, you know I like every single day. No, 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 no. Because okay, you'll I learned something. You'll come back. I learned something. If you if you want to solve some problem, don't just spend hours as much. And hours yeah, exactly. Give your give your brain just break. 
come back later. And the same for programming, by yes. the way, because programming is just like, like solving mathematics problems, yeah. okay, or puzzles, because um, I love puzzles. I love puzzles, you know. There is so anything that has to do with the challenge. logic, challenges, That's strategies, it. yes. it's your thing. Yes, yes. Do you apply all this knowledge and skills in life as well? Definitely. So all this, like having this strategic type of a mindset, having like um, passion to find the logical answers for everything, like yes. it, it helps you. It helped me. It helped me a lot. Even, in decision even making or in like everything. how? In everything. Do you calculate your every step before you do something, before you take a decision, or you're like, let's say, impulsive when it comes to it? You, you follow your gut feeling. Okay, my mom says you're impulsive, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I work it out. You have like yes. uh, option A, B, C, yes, D, exactly. in case if it fails, in case. Exactly. So you're an overthinker. Yes, I am. A, yes, I am. Right? I am. I am an overthinker. But it's, um, it's um, when I did the last, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, personality test. Yes. I'm 70 something uh, overthinker. Oh, which, which test did you do? I, 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 uh, 16, I think 16, 16 personalities. It's a website on the internet. That's very interesting. I'd like to do a test yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. No, because I'm an overthinker you as well. Yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm an introvert as well. 70, 70, 73 percent introvert. Wow. Because I'm crazy. That's why I'm introvert. You, you know, it's, it's no, no, you work a lot on developing yourself. I really admire that about you. Yeah. You know, I remember, uh -huh. you know, uh, when I when I was doing my courses online, you know, uh -huh. and um, the, back in 2021, I think it's October 2021, um, a coup happened in in in, in Sudan, okay. and all the okay. internet just went off, just the the land internet. So uh, and people were just afraid to go out. I used to go out because I had time to finish the certificates and call the school because the school had uh, land internet. I used to call the school at 7 p.m. And I go there, they open the school only for me. So you can start So coding. I can study and finish my, exactly. And, you know. Um, Proves one more time that nothing is impossible if you're disciplined, if you know what you I want, know. and if you just, how can I tell you, push yourself. But believe me, there's nothing for free. Obviously. Nothing for free. You pay. Unfortunately. You pay. Like to be sitting here with you. You had to go through hell. More than hell. For the last couple of months, I've been living off one meal, one sandwich per day. I'm so proud of you, Mina. You broke, you, you broke through. Do you, do you realize? Do you realize that? Um, I don't know, you know, like, like, you, you know. You actually landed like somewhere. Like three months, three months ago or two months ago, many people just said, Mina, just go back. No. There's no way. You made I it. I said, no. Oh. I said, no, God, God, God said, you know, I'll never put you to shame. And yeah. All this hard work, it pays back. Yeah, yeah. God said, you know, then you will know that I am the Lord. Those who wait for me shall not be put to shame. And I'm not put to shame. Because I got this job just one hour, one hour <laughs> before leaving. We gave you a call one hour before you took a decision to leave. Before, now my, my visa was out like one, uh, one hour after I got this job. And I was, I was leaving the next day. I'm so happy that Teach Me Code played a certain role in your life. And I feel that we're so blessed having you in our team because any student that's going to join your course is so lucky. Is so, so lucky because for a person who has so much passion, so much determination, so much commitment towards something he loves, I, I can't even imagine what type of students you will be like releasing from your course. Like, Thank I'm you. so proud of you, Mina, and I'm so happy that you're part of our team now. All I can wish you is like all the best. And trust me, on behalf of the company, I will make sure that you get all the support from us and so you can keep on doing what you love without being worried what's going to happen tomorrow. Thank you. And trust me, all the students, look at the guy who is going to be teaching you very soon. Look how much 
things he went through, how much he learned, and how much time he invested into becoming who is he today. Bravo, Mina. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you so much for this chat. Thank you so much for this episode. And I'm not saying bye. First of all, I'll see you on Monday again. And second of all, we definitely need to have a second part for it. So I'm saying bye for now and see you later. Yeah, sure.